bringing you the tennis court to, to help yeah. him work and tell him you're gonna he's gonna sell the company for 75 million or whatever it was yep. but then later on vf corp comes in they buy then they buy the company 2004 2004 it was a 300 million dollar company not making any money in 2004 yeah and so they came in and bought the company at that for time. almost 400, 400 million dollars yep. now when you <laughs> <laughs> when you are I, sitting there yeah and you hear these numbers being thrown around are you just like wait a minute my dad right started this company i was 10 years old i'm painting the warehouse i'm doing all this stuff i'm, I'm memorizing these numbers i've turned into a madman with these numbers <laughs> and here we are today selling this company again for three four hundred million right. are you right do, do, does guess, this does this even i like, had stock i just didn't have I, I wish i would have a lot more but it was it was very beneficial but i but know? not even that just, not even the monetary gain that you get but just yeah. like the 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 company that you that yes. your dad built like are you just like the, not that many people can sell a company for 400 million dollars right. right but then you know over the next you know 18 years yeah they see how it grew because they gave money to put in all of a lot of retail stores they got a you know they grew it and grew it and grew it and sure. made it profitable right and but it's it blows my mind going to other countries i'm looking at feet always I always said, you know, glad, Dad, you didn't start a bra company, so I'd be looking at the boobs. Of <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at feet always. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, <laughs> and you, I mean, anywhere I go, and then if I, I my see... Eye, my my I, eyes are up here, Steve. Yeah, <laughs> if, I, if I say something to somebody, you know, um, they have a story. Yeah. yeah. Everybody has a story. It just must be incredible. And it's just, incredible. you know, it's just, you know, I walk down the street and said, you know, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's wearing yeah, everyone. They're everywhere, bro. Everyone. For sure. have friends on vacations taking pictures and London No, they send it to me. They're in the, they're different all over the world. It's crazy. You know? It's crazy. Yeah. I just, I mean, I, I think it's interesting too because like a lot of the kids growing up now, like they only know Vans is like this VF Corp situation, right? right? right. Oh, it's yeah. corporate. It's this, that, and the other. But like, you know, what everything that you've talked about today is anything but a corporate company. That's I try as much and hard as I can with Christy and Bob to try to make it feel like the original company. They let me do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, you know, we want to do we want to do that more just cuz there is legacy behind grandparents that have kids that have grandkids and they're all what brands do you know can kind of go down that way. Right. right. You know, we just want to make sure the new generations that get introduced to, you know, Vans in mm. a way for the downtown showdowns there you yeah. go. that they can get involved, you know, some kind of music event that, you know, we're warped, you know, stopped that we can pick that back up yep. again because musicians, um, we, we go to a motorcycle event called born free. It's in June over in the orange Hills, mm. 10,000 motorcycle riders come over the weekend and they wear old school skate highs. And, you know, somebody <laughs> like Brad Pitt four or five years ago comes pulling up on a motorcycle, but <laughs> there's packs of different communities that love the brand mm, and you gotta sure. try to keep supporting them yeah from punk rock we did a thing called punk in the park where um it was uh, a bunch of bands that uh were gonna be playing you know at a, a concert so we went out and tried to support it and stuff like that I love so it. Yeah, we, it's we always we bring the skate ramp nice you know and have demos you bring the party so bucky and Got omar and everybody comes out and they're skating to it one of the best things ever was metallica did two events two years in a row one was in the jersey shore and the other one was in Detroit on this island. And there was like 40, 45,000 people that were there. And they asked us if we would bring skate. Mm. So the first one, we brought mini ramp. Okay. So Robert Trujillo comes out and he'll skate over there you know, with Tony Trujillo and yes. stuff. And then the other one was vert. So they have the main stage over here. And they have stage two here, stage three. So stage two is here, and we put the vert ramp next to that. So we didn't know. Metallica was playing on Sunday. Uh -huh. That was the lead there. On Saturday, they came out as a different name. And they're right next to the skate ramp. And so there's... Um, what do you mean they came out as a different name? They, they, they wanted to they, just... They, 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 wanted to, they, wanted to, they surprised the okay. crowd. So <laughs> okay. everybody's up at this end listening to Dropkick Murphys, I think, were playing. And all of a sudden, <laughs> they <laughs> the start... Dropkick Murphys. They, they start... <laughs> all of a sudden, you see like a video. Everybody left. Everybody <laughs> running. Yeah. It was the end of the set. Yeah, they were yeah. running. It was the end of the set, and they were running all down here. And so here's the vert ramp. And so Cab, Hasoy... Omar, I'm not sure if Lizzie was there and stuff. I know that, Drew, um, what's the name from Italy, was in there, Giorgio. And they're staring like, you know, that's Metallica. And they all looked at each other. 
we could skate to Metallica. They start skating, so the guys were they raising their hand, go, man. And so they skated the Metallica live, you know. So wow. it was, you know, and just all of a sudden 45,000 people around there. What a so, cool man. experience, yeah, that huh? Was, that Super was cool. great. Yeah, that's crazy. We have the House of Vans. Mm -hmm. We started in New York, and now today uh, we had New York and then London. Yeah. And then Metallica played about seven years ago in London. First small venue they played in like 20 years because it holds like a thousand people wow and so um i had a ticket to fly over and a ticket to get in because they had specific number you had to go mm. and tony trujillo the team was flying him over and so i reached out to him i said hey does your wife want to go i gave her my ticket and had her go because oh, they wow. played with robert trujillo the trujillo trio <laughs> you know, so I says you go so I got a frame thing in my office that they all signed and oh, stuff like that amazing so I gave up just so uh, Trixie could go with uh, Tony over there and they enjoyed I'm themselves I'm telling stuff you like man that. very very thoughtful yeah, yeah. yeah. good time Definitely. I mean you guys have had a lot of like these moments of like